Some people see him as the best forward option to unlock Messi for Argentina, while others simply know him as the wonder kid Julian Alvarez. But what is going on in the footballer's life? Let's take a look at his career, net worth, personal life, and more. This is Julian Alvarez's lifestyle. Julian Alvarez was born on the 31st of January 2000 into a middle-class family in Colchin, Cordoba, Argentina. His father, Gustavo Alvarez, worked as a truck driver to make ends meet, while his mother worked as a school teacher for a kindergarten in Colchin's preschooling system. His two brothers, Rafael and Agu, contributed to an interesting child childhood for the Argentine, who grew up in a very closely knitted household. Like many other South American kids, Alvarez wanted to be a part of a local football team or attend a soccer school, but even with his love for the sport, he remained at the top of his class. And as you would guess, physical education was his favorite subject, considering his plan to turn pro in the future. Growing up, the striker looked up to his compatriot Messi as his idol, saying that the greatest dream of his life was to play at the World Cup alongside Lionel Messi. Obviously, that's off his bucket list now. Alvarez literally began to play soccer as soon as he could run as a kid. His parents noticed his talent and enrolled him at one Futura Estrelita soccer school, where he was nurtured by Rafael Juarez, the man who ran the local academy and also sold pizzas. At seven, it was time for his parents to make a decision. The Argentine was in need of a bigger academy to hone his skills. Alvarez joined Club Atletico called Chen and blossomed. By the time he was 11, trials at Real Madrid and Boca Juniors were awaiting him. But things would unexpectedly go sour. After one month of intensive training and two goals in five games for Madrid, young Alvarez's world appeared to be caving in. Real Madrid could not sign him because of a transfer restriction policy for children under 13 years. A disappointed Alvarez and his family returned to Argentina and opted to stay with his club, rather than go for a trial at Boca Juniors. The forward continued to progress through the lower divisions and prepared himself for the big stage. Alvarez joined River Plate at the age of 16 in 2016 and finally made the first team cut in the 2018-19 season. He scored the first goal of his senior career on March 17, 2019 and ended up with 36 goals in 96 appearances for the club, with over 70% of those appearances coming in his final two seasons seasons with the club. During his four-year stay with the club, Alvarez won six trophies, including the Premiera Division, Copa Argentina, Supercopa, Libertadores, and other trophies. On an individual level, he won the South American Footballer of the Year in 2021. It was only expected that Europe would come calling for him in no time. On his 22nd birthday on January 31st this year, the Premier League champions Manchester City confirmed his initial 14 million pounds signing on a five and a half year contract but he was loaned back to River Plate until the end of the season. He already scored three goals in 12 appearances for Manchester City before the World Cup break. Primarily a striker, Alvarez is versatile enough to be deployed as a winger when needed. Julian made his debut for the Argentina senior side last June, having climbed up the ranks and has since made more than a dozen appearances for the Albicelestes. He was a part of the squad that made history by lifting the Copa America last year. With exciting goals in this World Cup, fans are eager to see just how much we can get out of the forward's talent. Dynamic, fast, with great shooting ability and link-up play, Alvarez is just another testimony of Argentina's impressive talent exports to Europe, and it is no surprise that he has been compared to Aguero. Having signed for Manchester City just like one of the players he looked up to while growing up, all eyes will be on him to replicate the exploits of his countrymen. But the world doesn't revolve around football, right? What goes on off the pitch for Alvarez? Is he dating anyone? Does he have baby mamas? Without a shadow of a doubt, the culture native is a handsome footballer and has tons of female fans drooling over him. That being said, a few names have made the headlines. Perhaps the biggest rumor is about him having a relationship with TikToker and public figure Luciana Milesi. The pair were rumored to be dating after Alvarez celebrated a 2021 trophy with River Plate. Milesi didn't help matters as she had earlier admitted to her social media fans 
what she had for Alvarez. The social media celebrity once said, See you in bed, in reference to Alvarez, which obviously had a flirty meaning. But Milesi is not the only lady to have been linked with Alvarez. A journalist and influencer named Nati Hota was also said to have had an emotional connection with Alvarez during the pandemic lockdown period. And then there is Amelia Ferrero, a physical education teacher who shares a passion for sports with the Argentine. Alvarez is currently dating her, as the pair have both posted rather intimate pictures on their social media handles. Ferrero, who is very much active, does not hesitate to post their pictures anytime she gets the chance. But hot girlfriends and dating rumors are only one side of a footballer's life. Many fans also want to know what Alvarez does on a typical day off the pitch. You would expect that with all the money and luxuries that the Argentine forward has, he would be entrusted in a lavish lifestyle. But it is the exact opposite. Julian Alvarez is not extravagant as such. He's not known for driving expensive cars, owning big mansions and partying hard with plenty of booze and expensive things. Alvarez spends his holidays at the seaside with a few friends. One of his favorite activities is beach soccer, as we have observed from his photos with his friends. Not much is known about Alvarez's properties such as cars and houses, but what we know is that he follows the team bus to training. Since he just made his move to England, he doesn't have a driver's permit yet, which is why he has to follow the bus for now. But no doubt, he'll be having a few enviable cars in his garage soon enough. The same goes for houses. With many footballers quick to spend extravagantly on properties, Alvarez may be one of the few looking to get more value for his money. Another thing that has left the fans surprised is the fact that the 22-year-old striker does not have any tattoos on his body. He is one of the few South American footballers you would see without tattoos. Before coming to Manchester City, Alvarez had already spent four years as a professional footballer at the River Plate senior team where his annual salary was about 702,000 euros. At the English club, the forward earns about 80,000 euros weekly, which is a dramatic improvement on what he was earning before coming to Europe. If we add his earnings from sponsorships, we could be looking at a current net worth of around 5 million euros or more, which is pretty insane for a 22-year-old. Imagine how much he would have earned at the end of his career. To his credibility, the youngster knows the value that comes from helping others which is why he has been involved in some charity work. Alvarez displayed a Spider-Man goal celebration during a charity match between Barcelona and Manchester City, which was organized to raise funds for the investigation against ELA. Of course, he still has plenty of time for more charity work. How about some trivia? Alvarez's favorite foods are Italian dishes. Also, would you believe that Alvarez was nicknamed La Aranha, the spider, by his brothers when he was only four years old because of his small stature at that time? Unfortunately for the 5'7 player, the name remains fitting to this day. But that's not the only interesting fact. Alvarez, when he was 20, surprised his first football teacher, Hugo Rafael Juarez, with a white Renault Kangoo Wan, which shows that the footballer does not forget his roots. It could also be the reason why he has gotten homesick a couple of times in the past. Despite having a slow start to the season for Man City, Alvarez has already made waves alongside his idol at the World Cup. In the coming weeks, we can expect more from the Argentine, who already won the Etihad Player of the month for November.